Today we're going to be talking about a rabbit hole that I've dared not go down for years and Mary has asked me to many times. She's asked me to make a video about Amber Lynn Reed. Now, Dane, are you familiar with Amber Lynn Reed at all? Amber's mentioned her name, but <laughs> I, I don't, that's all I know. It's like everybody knows, you know, everyone's heard the name at least once. It's, it's almost like <laughs> Voldemort or something. She who should not be named. <laughs> uh, it's... <sighs> It's deep, and I, I, I don't even want to try to explain. There's so much lore. The, the <laughs> gist of it is she has been trying. You know what? Actually, let's just, let's just watch the Sunny V2 video and let him explain it, because he'll do a better job than, than me. Amblin Reed created her channel to document what was supposed to be an epic weight loss journey. Yeah. My name's Amberlynn, and I wanted to start a YouTube channel for weight loss. Instead, the This is how it all began, Dane. That's how it all Sorry. began. You know, wanted to be a weight loss channel. I don't know. I don't know how long ago this was, <laughs> but it's been years, Dane. <laughs> All right, it, it's God, dude. If you, if you don't know, like, it, it, like, it is a huge YouTube rabbit hole, and it's 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 one that many get lost down. The concept, like, the whole Amberlynn Reed like rabbit hole, goes so deep that people don't actually watch her videos. The majority of people watch videos other people make about her, like this video. <laughs> That's what people watch because they just want to see like other people talk about it, and it, it's but it's it's pretty nuts. I mean, let's see what he gets into. I did my weigh in. I was three sixty eight point zero. Amblin's courageous ability to share this vulnerable information led to an instant fan base of approximately two hundred subscribers, along with positive comment after positive comment. Yeah, everyone was like, "Heck yeah, do it. Go, you know, lose that weight. Heck yeah, this is gonna be great. You got oh, this. you got this. Yeah, it was so so wholesome. That's how it started, Dane." <laughs> That's how I began. <laughs> Only seven days after uploading her first video, there were already signs that her weight loss journey was going to end in disaster. As she seven days in, Dane. <laughs> seven days in. Now I want you to remember this. The 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 first video way in, and then seven days later, it's already falling apart. <laughs> you may see a pattern. You may you may, you may you may see a pattern form. It's it's a, it's a reoccurring theme. And in disaster, as she'd post her first weekly weigh-in, explaining that she hadn't lost any weight. My weigh-in was three sixty eight point zero last week. My weigh-in today was three sixty eight point zero. So I stayed the exact same. The other three three sixty eight three eighties. Wait, wait, what? Someone messed up here. But anyway, okay, yeah, right. So nothing changed, which is pretty good, you know, because. Uh, Usually when I'm trying to lose weight, it goes up. So <laughs> good job. Right. <laughs> good job on, on the, at least maintaining. This one week later, okay. she'd upload another weigh-in video revealing yeah. that she'd actually gained weight. This uh. week has been my most indulgent binging week I have ever had. So just like we're, we're like a minute and a half into this video and like I, I haven't personally been down this rabbit hole, but hearing it from other people, uh, that whole like, spot right there that we just sat and watched is kind of the cycle that happens over and over again and there's always like reasons and there's always excuses and there's always like deflection oh, right yeah uh, yep. all right <laughs> i keep having such a hard time because there's like there's so many things to talk about when it when it comes to this person that i will, I will just like go on like a rant for like another hour you know just, for, just from <laughs> all the all the things uh, let's just keep watching the video but yeah it's it's uh it, there's a cycle going on here for sure and uh it's it's very obvious to everyone. Zero. Before she'd talk about her solution to fix this, which was not to eat healthier, but rather to change the day on which she weighed herself. I will be weighing on Thursdays now. And by yeah. the change the day you weigh. It's it <laughs> why is that gonna change anything? Yeah, that's how Dane. <laughs> Friday is my fat day, okay? You know, I guess my heavy day. Excuse me. It's my heavy day. I can't weigh wow. on Friday. I gotta weigh on Tuesday, which is my my you know, my light day. <laughs> I've been having a lot of issues with saying no to certain foods. So I did my weigh in. I was up 2.8. Every time I weigh in, I'm like not losing. I don't know what to do. There's really nothing oh for God. me to say. I mean, it's just, it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> How is she surprised? She was there when she ate the food, right? Like. <laughs> Was someone else eating the food and she was gaining the weight? What happened? Are you starting to like see why people get sucked down this rabbit hole of like just <laughs> watching this person that just is oblivious oh. to, to, to what the problem is? Oh, uh, this could, this, this, I could see this being great. The craziest oh, part is it just doesn't apply to like 
the weight stuff. There's other crazy things too that they're probably gonna get into later, but we'll, we'll, we'll just keep watching. Losing. I don't know what to do. With the trend continuing into the week after that. But I stepped on the scale and saw 377. My first reaction was, what? It's like three pounds over and over again. You know, this wow. is crazy. Like, wow, this is back in 2014, Dane. This is almost, <laughs> this is almost 10 years ago. It, oh. It's, Dane, what if what if what if I told you? Oh no! <laughs> that it might still be going on today. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, here, here's here. You know, four days ago, still it's still going, man. She's still going strong. She's still on that weight loss journey, Dane. Wow! She's, she's still. She's, oh my god! That's not the same person, bro. I wasn't even gonna say like she literally doesn't look the same. Like you could tell the ten pounds. In the video we're watching right now, you know what I'm saying? I was like, "Dang, that ten pounds was just visible," mm -hmm. and it apparently just becomes more <laughs> and more visible. <laughs> so we watch, we watch like those the, the the Nick Avocado videos, right? And he makes a lot yeah. of references to her, like a lot of them, like a lot of jokes that we just don't get. They're usually things that uh, that she said or done in the past that people meme. Is he a product of Amber Lynn Reed? I think he's a fan. You know, I think he's a fan. And while almost every comment remained positive, her failure to lose weight resulted in her very first hater, who she'd foolishly dedicate an entire video to. Ah, uh, yes. The old, ah. I have a hater, let me give him a whole video. <laughs> that old classic mistake. Love it. Every single time, it just breeds more hate. Always. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, they all come out of the woodwork when you do this. This person is beating me up so bad with their words, saying that since I started this channel, I'm actually up weight. However, Amblin had a plan to prove this hater wrong, as one way- Well, well was that the point, or was that taken out of context? Was her point actually that she didn't gain weight since starting the channel? Because... <laughs> because she did. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine being a hater like that. I know, right? She wow. uploaded a video providing an outline for the way she wanted to get down to by the New end. New Year's of resolution. The year. Here we My go. My resolution is to reach 299 pounds. I think I was 11 when I weighed 290 pounds, and ever since. 11. Oh, that's oh, that's heavy at 11. Oh man, oh man, I'm too close to that. It. Six, yeah, no, huh? I'm just sitting here thinking. I'm, 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 I kind of got stuck there. I was thinking about like how much, how big was I when I was 11? Like, did I even weigh like a hundred pounds when I was 11? Yeah, that's middle school, right? Yeah, that's, that's, dude, that's middle school. I was the smallest of my life in middle school. So, I mean, when you think about that, you think of like being that overweight as a kid. Then you think about like your the the family dynamic and like how how things are at home, right? Like, what the, what are the parents feeding you and like what what's their mindset when it comes to food and it. It can't be good, right. obviously, you know. Uh, yeah. I, I wonder how true that is, because that, that seems unlikely. That, that, that seems <laughs> unlikely. Like an 11 year old. Golly, hang on. Let me, I mean, not, well, I, mean, I wonder, like, just looking here, and she, it says she's 300. 100 year old with life saving. 11 year old who weighs 300 pounds get life saving intervention. Okay. So, yeah. It just, it's, God, it seems like it would be. I guess it depends on, you know, your growth and like how tall you are at that point too. Like how, how well you can actually oh, hold yeah. it and everything. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that, that one. Sorry. It stun locked me there. And she said that. All right. And would announce five months later that she'd lost an impressive 28 pounds. All right. It feels really freaking good to be so on track. I'm in the three forties. No more three. Look at her. Look at her go. There she goes. I got the new year's resolution. What? Five months. You know, 27 pounds. I mean, that's not, that ain't bad. That's that's wow. progress right there. Heck yeah. Ah, that's hustling. It's better than me. <laughs> Give me five months and I may I may gain a pound or two, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I spent the last three weeks eating whatever I wanted. Yes, I have gained thirteen point eight pounds in the last couple of months. And by the end of the so the cycle it's back again. Yeah. It's oh, I mean here we but, go. but I can I can relate to the, the, the old the old I call it the binge cycle, you know, because like I'm, I'm stuck in one right now. You know, it's like uh, I've, I've been doing good and I lose weight. And then like your body tries to do that thing to where it wants to stay the same, you know, and you start feeling hungry all the time. And my willpower is low and <laughs> I've been eating kind of what I want and gaining a little weight. But I'm aware cycle. of it. It's just the the putting a stop to it is what I got to do. I got to I got to stop myself. I you dude lately I've been. The king of the king. Oops, I forgot to get meat out. <laughs> right? Yeah, so right, right. <laughs> Amber comes home from work and she's like, yo, what'd you get out for dinner? I'm like, 
Oh yeah, we do gotta eat. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what you want to well, order? Since I messed up, I guess. Uh, yeah, good. What are we ordering yeah, tonight? We order you know? tonight. Yeah, right. Oh my god, dude, it ain't been good. So one thing about like ordering out though is like uh, for me, it's been just the quantity of food. Like whenever I'm losing weight, I can we can still order like whatever, and I can still lose weight because yeah. you know Mary says it's unfair because you know you guys can just eat more. Because we like our bodies just burn more to you know maintain, and so she gets okay. so mad. She's like, "Stop ordering fast food!" And I'm like, "What are you talking about, Mary? I'm losing weight." <laughs> and she's like, "Shut up!" <laughs> I can't eat it. <laughs> uh, she's pretty upset about it, and I, you know, I feel for like her like daily recommended uh, calories is like a thousand and something, and you know, mine's like two thousand, so. It's rough. Mine's like 24. <laughs> She's over there like, I got like 1,100 calories. I'm like, oh, you can have like, you know. A chip. Yeah, <laughs> have a chip and a salad, you know. <laughs> Congratulations. Ugh. Yeah. Rather than being down to her goal of 299, she was instead back to 377 pounds. That was my weigh in, 377.0. The exact same weight that she was at the beginning of the year. Oh, no way. So she, over a year, she started, worked, down ended up right back oh god two years weighing in at 377 starting off on january mm. 377 yeah it's gotta be demotivating it's gonna be rough but then it spirals back in time because she goes through a breakup and here like this is the other part that people like get like heavily down the rabbit hole on is ambulance relationships they're they uh. they uh they seem about as stable as her weight loss sometimes. So 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 they exist at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I didn't know if it was going to be like that. Oh, yeah, I got a girlfriend. You know, it's just uh, uh, in Canada, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have to stop and say, too, because I know, like, Mary's going to be watching this video. And, like, all the people that have gone, like, like that, that have the lore are just, like, sweating right now because there's so much. That they could just like the, the comment section is probably gonna be pretty wild on this one actually. So you know, put put your <laughs> put your lamp in lower down in the comment section, which was followed by a different video only two days later, mm. explaining that the scale couldn't even weigh her anymore as she'd become heavier than four hundred and twenty pounds. Jesus, April, oh th wow, th what, January, February, March, three months. Oh my god, oh forty pounds. Oh. Yeah. It absolutely hurts. Amblin's emotional state was healed to some extent when she began to date a new girl called Destiny. However, this Destiny. only seemed to make things worse as she began. Oh, like mm, I, the, the people are sweating right now. I swear they are with their with their lore, their <laughs> the comments, Dane. <laughs> uh, okay, I, can, I, I thought about bringing Marion to make this video, but if I did, I know this video would be two hours long. Like, Four. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just too much. There's too, like, it's, you know, all this stuff over 10 years, right? There's just, there's so much there. Anyway, I'll continue on. After only six months of being in this new relationship, Amblin explained that her weight had hit a new high. I weighed in and I'm 455.0 pounds. Dang. So that's since the last 40 pounds. So, so oh, geez. 70 something pounds. And the, yeah, that's another year down. Oof, all right. The audience also began to observe that Amblin had adopted a significantly more obnoxious, unlikable attitude, which when combined with her weight gain, led to a surge in people hating on her content. Yeah, here we go. This is the part. Yeah, this is what I was waiting on is like when you get into the... The toxic Amber, yeah, she's so many excuses of why she can exercise. <laughs> if a pair uh, believe she can do what she can't do, good lord. Oh. At around the same point in time, with the assistance of various mukbang videos, Amberlynn experienced a significant increase in her subscriber count. Oh no! Oh no! The nail in the coffin. The right blueprint. Here. Yeah, it's the. I'm getting rewarded for doing this trash stuff. I should do more of that. Yeah. Wow. The old blue, here he comes. The old blueprint. <laughs> Look yeah. at the graph. <laughs> Obviously, this only gave her more incentive to eat, helping her to reach 482 pounds only six months after hitting 450. Yeah, These that's actually not that bad in comparison to the previous gains, you know, especially doing like mukbang videos. You know, right. I'm, I take that as a little <laughs> bit of a win. I think I thought that would be more. Came even worse for Amblin when she announced that her new relationship had also come to an end, yep. stimulating yet another increase. January first, I weighed four hundred. So I think this is this is focusing like so far just on the weight gain part of of uh, the Am the Amblin Reed drama. But like they, like I said, okay. there there's it, it, it kind of touches on a lot of the things that people get like real passionate about i would say like the excuses the 
the, the stories um, of the relationships. Each one, I bet, has its own like. Yeah, all all <laughs> the the toxic things that people like notice during like the vlogs, and it's mm. yeah. She's there. Oh. There are very few YouTubers that I'm aware of that are under the magnifying glass like she is. Wow. And Ken, we might have to take a deeper dive, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if people keep making like little montages of this that have already done the research for me, sure. But I'm not, <laughs> I'm, not I'm not going down all that. So I, I keep like going to like, there's just so much you don't know, which there is. Uh, but I guess for the sake of this video moving on, I'll just focus on like the weight, the weight game part. <laughs> Amberlynn decided to put her foot down and make a change once and for all. Oh, here she goes. Only this change wouldn't come in the form of a new diet or even a new exercise routine, but it would uh -huh. rather appear in the form of a video announcing that she would no longer be stepping on the scale or tracking her weight loss journey whatsoever. I am. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Really? I will never see 500 because I'm going to skip right over it, baby. One of the, th one of the theories on her uh, and, and, and the one that I like is that she's like uh, those Twitch streamers, like the, the girls that like they're like in the bikinis or whatever. And they have like a towel on and they're like, all right, in two more minutes, we'll, we're going to do some squats, you know, keep keep watching, keep subscribing. And, and, and they just keep doing that. Have you seen those? They never. They do no. that for hours. Just the same shtick of like, they're like, one of them, she like doesn't even come on the camera. She's like kind of off to the side and you can like see her, like the edge of her body. And yeah. she, she'll come, she comes on the camera like maybe two minutes out of like a six hour stream. Wow. Yeah. And so <laughs> I like to think that, that, that Amarylline is very, she's very self aware of what's happening and she just keeps like blue balling you. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm going to lose this weight. I'm going to lose it, guys. Come on. Just keep watching. Just kidding. <laughs> Come on. You know, keep on, keep on subscribing. Keep, uh, keep supporting. Yeah, we're going to. And then, you know, after 10 years of it. Uh, wow. Yeah. It's. Mm. I am done with my weight loss journey. Sharing my <laughs> journey does not help me at all. It seems like. Uh, sorry. That was funny. I mean, what, 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 what? There's been. The weight loss journey? journey ended back in like 2014 or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> this is it's 16 right, now left the shire bro who <laughs> <laughs> started her channel at 350 pounds to motivate herself and others to lose weight she has since gained over 200 pounds through excessive binging and delusions about what is healthy she starts a new diet every few weeks and breaks them within hours mm -hmm. the rumors that she can't fit into her own bathroom at this point and is mostly immobile she's a train wreck mm -hmm. my fear of becoming like her has been a great motivation to continue this lifestyle Dude, imagine, I mean, she's doing good work out there. She's motivating other people to live healthier lives, you know? Oh, to, by doing the don't do like me. <laughs> oh, hey, this no. Is actually, this is what I need here at the beginning of the video. This is like a pretty good, like, summary of, of what it all is. Yeah. Yup, 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 yup. Starts yep. a new diet every few weeks and breaks them within hours. I kind of, I mean, it's, I'm always... Of the the idea that that people like YouTubers things that are harmful to them are reinforced by by views, right? Right. Like, it, and people may be in the comments like, "Ken, you're fat shaming and all that stuff." I mean, it, it, there, there's there's no we don't even have to have that conversation of that this is extremely unhealthy and <laughs> life shortening, right? Like, we don't right. We, that's not even up for debate. Uh, but like, just the getting views for doing what you're doing it, it like just reinforces the bad stuff you know and Absolutely. so I, I i agree like her saying that like her weight like her tracking not tracking it i would say more of her recording and documenting her weight loss journey on youtube is probably not helping at all right right like not even a little bit but then what was the other alternative go get a job <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, work a regular job. What are you talking? <laughs> Shoot, no way. She was back to recording the next day. <laughs> Amberlynn reads videos on YouTube to motivate me to cut my portions down and work out more. Wow. Good lord, that poor girl. <laughs> Not even thirty, and she can barely walk due to morbid obesity. Oh man. Oh god. Hey, whoever that was deleted that one. <laughs> <They're Jeez>. like, <laughs> Amberlynn Reed was doing the opposite. She began her fourth year on YouTube, weighing in at four hundred and ninety-seven pounds, which accompanied yet another optimistic resolution my goal mm. is not to go so she's back again right back again okay. Dave. here she is again yeah 
Yeah. After she quit the journey. Yeah, 2018. Here we go. Pretty much doing like a very clean eating, and I'm just pumped about it. However, she always does videos. Uh, I don't know if they'll talk about it, where she like go through and like like talk about what she's eating. Yeah. And there's it's always like. It's always bad. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, always, it's like better, but still bad. Never gonna lose weight. She's been doing this for years now. She'll be eating at Texas Roadhouse in two weeks. I'm doing, I love this. Texas Roadhouse. Oh man. Ooh. Oh wait, is this her at Texas so Roadhouse right here in the Texas next scene? Texas Roadhouse in two weeks. And with the assistance of her jumbo coke and chocolate movie theater diet, these comments turned out to be correct. <laughs> There's another good new relationship she's in now. I don't think he's talked about that, but yeah, like she, yeah. Wow. yeah. She'd begin to use her weight as clickbait for new videos, proudly displaying her mm. unhealthy diet in exchange for extra views, leading to the confirmation that Amberlynn was now over 500 pounds. Yeah, that's what good. we were just talking about. The, the net, that reinforcement from YouTube. YouTube. Oh boy. Ah. My weight today was 500.6. Well, who's actually surprised? And no girl. <laughs> God, God dang, man. We're not retaining water. That's you know, the, the water, the water, yeah, like, like the, the Nick, the Nick jokes. Yeah. Oh. Don't have to be that so raven to know you were going to hit 500 pounds. <laughs> the cycle continued with a brand new goal. Oh, my goal oh my was God. to be 465 pounds by June 29th. Yeah, a, a new goal. Here we go. The cycle begins right. again, you know. At my heaviest, it was 525 point something. Her weight had oh. unsurprisingly gotten even worse by the following year. 567. It just, it, Dane. No! Dane, I'm telling you, man. It's, it's nuts. Dude. It's nuts to watch. Turn the internet off! <laughs> <laughs> for meal one, she has a recharge bar from Jenny Craig. It should be called a fat bar. In fact, there's more grams of fat in a recharge bar than a Kit Kat bar. Yet her response was simply. Oh, I thought I said Greg I've, Douche. I've, All right. <laughs> I've seen that guy. Yeah, have you? <laughs> yeah, Amber. I think Amber's Amber's watched him a couple times. I think. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, I just sorry. I wasn't trying to make fun or anything. I just I just kind of noticed at the corner of my eye. I was like, what does it say his name was? <laughs> <laughs> Yet her response was simply that these fitness experts didn't understand who she was. Every video made about me is just horrible and rude, and people just don't understand where I'm coming from. And I mean, she's not wrong. People don't understand where she's coming from or where she's going. Like, <laughs> that doesn't really make any sense to anybody. And it would be through this ignorant attitude that Amberlin reached a whopping 572 pounds. <laughs> However, in case things weren't already bad enough. In case, Dane, in case things weren't bad enough. <laughs> here's another oh, thing. Oh. That was pre-COVID. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. no! All right. Five months later, Amblin uploaded a new video announcing that she'd been diagnosed with cancer. So I got my results, my results back, and I do have cancer. I have womb cancer. Which was extra frightening given her health. She had what kind of cancer? Womb cancer. I may, I may actually have to... Um, I gotta, I gotta be careful with this one. I want to say that there's something weird about this too, but I'd have to actually get married to come in here and, and tell me about it. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> okay, okay. Hang all on. right. You hang gonna on. go grab her? <laughs> let me go. Let me go grab the sage of the of the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> so we're we're watching we're watching the Amber uh, Amberlyn Reed uh, uh video and hey buddy, yeah. And we got to the part where she's talking about her womb cancer. Was there anything weird about that, or was she just actually have cancer? So she bled for like three years straight and didn't see a doctor about it. She bled for three years straight and didn't That's see a what doctor she about it. Now, is she bled for three years straight and she didn't see a doctor. Okay, all right. And she blames that on her ex-girlfriend too. She said that. She blames the ex-girlfriend. Yeah, she says that, well, my new girlfriend wouldn't stand for that. She would take me to see the doctor. So, so then she put the blame. Onto Becky. Oh, so, okay. So the new girlfriend would have taken her to the doc, taken her to the doctor. Yeah. Okay. Oh, like, wow. But during those three years where she wouldn't go to the doctor about her continuous bleeding, she did go to the emergency a bunch of different times for like having colds. She didn't go to the hospital for, after bleeding for three years, but she kept going to the hospital for like colds and stuff? Yeah. To the emergency room. The emergency room. Oh. A lot of people who just don't believe she had cancer at all, I personally do believe that she did. Mm. And she just got a full hysterectomy. But then after the hysterectomy, she was put on medication to like a hormone medication, estrogen, because her mm. body wasn't producing it anymore. She then would not take that regularly. And this went on for like years. 
Uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I told you, Dave, if I get married in here, so the, we'll get the Lord. Um, she's like, <laughs> this oh, is yeah, crazy. I should never have been prescribed this medication because it makes my chances of having cancer come back. And then she's like, malpractice? Should I sue them? And it's like, the <laughs> which doctor even prescribed you this All medication? Right. And she's like, oh, a bunch of doctors did. So it's just, it's very confusing. The whole it's thing very, is very, it, very confusing. It does sound very confusing. All right. So God. There, there's the jury, the, like some people don't think she had cancer to begin with. Uh, some people do think she had a hysterectomy and then had medicine that she didn't, she didn't take. Yeah. She <laughs> or, did not take it as you're supposed to. Didn't take it as you're supposed to. Okay. Blame the doctors for it. Yeah, and then she said, like, oh, should I sue oh, the wow. doctors for prescribing you Should I sue the doctors? Oh, God. And everyone's just like, no. Like, it, it doesn't make, it, it's very confusing, and it doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> just for the record, I think that she did have cancer. Yeah, for the record, you think that she did have cancer? Because a lot of people are like, she lied about that. I don't think she would lie about having cancer. Like, that's a big accusation. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a pretty big one. Well, I mean, like, when it comes to the Amber Lynn stuff, most, a lot of the stuff is, like, speculation. Like, you just kind of piece it together from what she says. So, who knows? You know, you never know what the truth is. So, like, the, even the stuff that we're saying here doesn't mean it's the truth. But it's, like, you right. know, you can kind of connect some dots and... and, and maybe, that, maybe that's what's so, like, intriguing about the Amber Lynn Reed. Like, uh... The, that rabbit hole is just like you know like five nights at freddy's all oh, everyone actually playing the game was kind of eh, whatever but everyone got like so like into like the potential of like the lore and like what the story is and maybe that's the same thing they're doing here is like but she said this and if i go back in my documents here and connect it to this that means that she probably you know <laughs> there's all these theories uh, <laughs> maybe that's like the the appeal to it i have been putting off calling a weight loss doctor for months now but i don't know what came over me she didn't put it off for months this has been going on <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what year is huh. this we, we have 2018 now in the in the in the lore here i don't know for me yeah. i just did it i just um, did it okay called good a weight right loss place that i know about ambulance stated that one of the worst parts about getting the surgery was that her views on youtube would likely decline do i think I'm <laughs> Jesus Christ, this no way, the part dude. that I hate about it all, the, the YouTube trap. And honestly, by me losing weight, I will lose re viewership. And that she'd need to lose a bunch of weight prior mm. to the surf. Yeah, well, you know, that's fine, right? It was, actually, you'll gain viewership as you actually, God, what what a freaking, oh, what a change that would wow. be. Like, what, what a brand change. You know, you think you're... Your brand is strong now. Like you, you turn it around and you lose all the weight, and you make like a big marketing deal about you losing the weight, and you get we work with brands like health brands, and you rake in all this money, and then at the end you become like a motivational speaker. Like I don't like. Do I have to career path you here? Like it's pretty. <laughs> it's actually it's easy if you do it. It can actually be very very lucrative. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> They won't be able to do weight loss surgery. Prompting Amblin to lose a whopping 89 pounds in only a couple of months. I weighed in today. Whoa, I weighed hey, in. 2020, she lost some weight. There we go. All right. All right. All right. I'm ecstatic. Although yeah. for whatever reason, Amblin never got the surgery and instead, as you might expect, put the weight back on. <laughs> and it begins Aww. again, Dane. Yeah. No. Yep. 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 <laughs> It's just like over and over again. I'm telling you, man. Just like, you're like, no. <laughs> it comes up to $23,000. And as a result, mm, she's currently saving for the procedure while waiting for her doctor's approval. Amberlynn currently weighs right. in at 508 pounds. And here we are, 2023, right back at 500 pounds. Wow. wow. She even changes in the thumbnails. From like you can tell, like oh, here's must have been a time when she was doing better. <laughs> here's a time she was doing worse. Like, yeah. dude, the thumbnails tell a story. I mean, she's got you know, a new, it's got a new weigh-in video, life goals, uh, dietitian appointment, and a lawsuit. We get sued for defamation, even though I've already stated everything here that we're talking about is is uh, there's this the theories Documented yeah, facts. And, and then there's documentation, yeah. So like, it's like wow, that's just the weight loss part of it, Dane. There's like. There's more. Uh, <laughs> there's more. It sounds like it's worth checking out at some point. It's, I like it. But, I'm, but there's so, there's so <laughs> much. Like, there's so... I don't even know how many videos she's got. It's it, that This is why people like just watch 
uh, like uh, compilation things, uh, like just compiling the crazy things she's done and says, because there's just there's just so many videos to, to go through. But anyway, that is uh yeah, that's we've kind of we've scratched the surface a little bit. Like I said, Mary's been asking me to make a video about Amber Lynn for forever, uh, and I don't I don't feel any better. <laughs> I I, <after> I, <laughs> I can now put a face to the name. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't wish, I don't wish anything bad on anyone. I hope, I hope the best for him. It's just like, I don't, I can't not point, point out how it, I don't know. It just seems actually, I'm not going to say it just, uh, you know, you, you guys know, you know, all right. <laughs> you, all right. You know, all right. Uh, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment that I know you already have and tell me all the stories. So thank you. I appreciate that. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday. So to my friends. I love you. See you next time. Bye-bye.